Hello, digital photography students. Today we are going to learn about how to copy and paste one image into another image. And we are also going to review one of the concepts we learned, which was how to remove the background with the magic wand tool. Um, so I have both exercise 6A and exercise 6B. I have both files opened up. I downloaded them and opened them up already. So I'm going to click on my magic wand tool and um, I'm going to select the edges. I want to have a feather of about five and my tolerance is set to 32. I'm going to hold down the shift key because if you notice there's a little bit of gray right here um, that I need to see. So you can see it better now that I've zoomed in. So I'm going to hold down my shift key, see if that works. All right, that looks really good. I like that. Um, so I'm going to hit the backspace key or delete to remove the background and then I'm going to deselect all. Okay, now I need to copy this into uh, my waterfall picture. So I'm going to hit select all and then edit copy. And you can use the keyboard shortcuts control A and control C if you wish to. Next I'm going to toggle to this image. See they're both in different tabs. And then I'm going to hit edit paste. And oh my gosh, the patch is really big. What am I going to do? So in the new version of uh, Pixlr E, uh, the old version had edit, free transform, and it was actually a separate button, kind of like if you're using GIMP, there's a separate button. But for right now, the Pixlr E, they've incorporated it into, here it is, this one. Arrange, move, transform, and change layer settings. So click on this little arrow pointer tool. And you'll see the blue thing. So I'm going to click here. And right now I want to point out I have a fixed aspect ratio and I want to make this small and put it over here. And you can see that the words aren't kind of sideways to the left. So I'm going to center it a little bit better. And I think I'm done hmm, like that. And this is a, a painting by Samantha Harden and she won the contest. And if you look really closely, this painting is in this patch that Hanging Rock State Park used in 2015 for one of their events. Um, so that is how you incorporate, you um, remove the background, select all, copy, and then paste an image into another one. And you'll notice right here there are different layers, so I can use my eyeball. Well, it's not an eyeball, it's a checkbox. Sometimes it's an eyeball and other software. Turn it on and off. All right, so now all I have to do is file save. I'm going to save this as a JPEG. Remember, I'm going to don't want to uh, overwrite my original file name, so I'm going to say exercise six done, and then I'm going to download it. All right, guys, thank you very much. Bye.